Hello and welcome to King of the Fish. Me and Jamie are down here at uh, Darrock Fishing Complex. We've decided to go on Terrapin Lake, uh, a nice little lake. There's about six or seven swims in it. Me and Jamie are right up the far end. It's a boiling hot day today. They say it's going to be the hottest day this year. This is what I'm going to cast out for my first rod. A new crab boilie, that is, and a little poloni pop up on the top. Basically, that's just a back lead on the line there, and that'll come off for catfish guest snag. Right, check this out. It's just going to go in the edge. There you go, look. First cast. Up the tree, Jay. Oh it won't matter after that. Let's have a look, guys. Lovely. That's that rod out, a right hand rod. That's about three foot, I felt it down quite nicely. It was actually not a firm donk at all, so there's probably a load of, uh, it's just underneath that tree there, so there's probably a lot of leaf litter over there. Let's uh, can see Jamie just putting a few bits and pieces in his bait boat, so let's go and see Jamie. So I'm just about to get my first carp rod out, and we're using one of the new it's a tech we've got from Shane, which was very, very nice of him. It was a really good deal. So thank you, Shane. And this is the Flytech bait boat. So I've got both of my buckets here filled up with sweet cloudy nut nips in this tub here. So that's got some nice sweet cloudy nut pellets in there. It's got some mainline milky toffee response liquid and some sherbet in there as well. Uh, and a load of maggots. And if I catch a fish, we'll show you the, the rigs that we're using as well. So, let's get this bad boy turned on. Let's get it out and, and get it under the little canopies at the back. That's racket. What do you think of it, Jay? This is wicked. Going where I want it to. Coming off nicely. Now I'm just going to do me manoeuvre. <laughs> Isn't that good? Are you going to go any further? Oh, it's big caught. Yeah. That's okay, that. there you go. So what I want to do Right, we're ready to release. That's great, isn't it? So easy to control and everything like that. That is great. Is a tree here on the top of us. There's no real way of passing on there unless you can just do an underarm cast. But... Here it comes. Fantastic. Little maggot on the top there that survived. Didn't all come out but that was a bit wet, sticky, so yeah. most of it. Yeah, most of it, which is good. Turn it straight off. Fantastic. Pop these down. And now it's ready for my catfish. Bring it back. Give me a headache. Burnt my finger. It took so much line so quickly, it actually burnt my finger. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get this back, but I'm gonna try. I can feel it. Just bringing it through. 
little tree there. That day it's just pretty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on this way. No. God. Oh fuck my fucking no. shit. Uh, the first screaming run of the session was on Dan's. Oh, he's lost it. And, uh, yeah. That last catfish that I lost really upset me. Here we go, that's only been out about 20 minutes, isn't it, Jay? Mm -hmm. A couple of beats, we come over, pell it again, same as the last uh, session at Orphan Den. And it feels like a, an half decent fish. I don't know if it's a cat or a carp yet. Coming into our first evening, it's all looking good, isn't it, Jay? Just about to get the bivy up. It seems like it. Quite uh, solid, look, Jay. Don't want to move. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. It's staying in the same spot. Maybe a, I don't know. It looks like a down that's getting caught on. What to do my? Would you mind grabbing me my hat, please, over there? It's a catfish all day long, Jay. Got to be. Oh my God. I'm just trying to slow it down a bit. Come on, this feels nice. It's been a while since we've had cats, guy. After losing that, that last one, I was really <laughs> upset. Like a little child. Storming off. So probably three hours later. Two and a half hours later, Jay? On the carp rod, a little, little tiny hook link. This this hook link's about five inches, four inches. There you go, see it. Jeez, all right. Can I just see it out there. Lovely, lovely. Oh my goodness. Right, Jay. Sure, 
of the line, but okay. The foils are sending out. Okay, he finished the rock. Of the year, Jay. At last, eh? Right, let's get everything set up and get it out and have a look at it, shall we? Right. Oh, gold, Jay. Twenty-nine one. I reckon that's. We weigh this. We think that's t like about two pounds. So. What do you reckon, Jay? How big? We'll, we'll weigh that half in and when we put it back, we'll let them out. Look at that. Lovely, let's get a, Let's show you this. First catfish of the year. Let's have a look at that. Beautiful. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, lovely fish that come on the uh, that's actually the carp rod over on the margin I just put about 14 halibut pellets 14 mil halibut pellets over the top of it I was fishing with a little 5 inch hook link fluorocarbon with one single pellet as my bait and there you go that's what you get uh, about 26 pound oh blimey trying to be ah, having it there you go, about 20, 20 or 26 pound. So beautiful. Let's get some pictures and get her back. There. And she's got plenty of energy to go if she wants. And she's just put her nose in the margin that cold, eh? Wonder if you can catch her again. You see it? Can I get right down here? Just pull her tail. Tap there. Come on, go on. That's more food. The thing is, it's right undercut under here. That she's about to go there. Wow, look at that, Jay. Oh. Absolutely superb. Lovely. All right, we'll weigh this. And then we'll uh, take it off of the weight. And we'll uh, see what size it is. Let's get that rod back out. Uh, see if we can get another one. Three and a half pound wet. Yeah, so, um, 26, so we're talking 25, 10, or something like that. Nice. No, 26. No, 26. No, 25. No, 25, 10, or something like that. Lovely jubbly, well, it's our first fish. 
Let's get these rods back out. Right, Dan's been raving about this fish he caught while I was down at the toilet. What size of this? You got, you got another one, but... <laughs> you ready? This is amazing. It's definitely smaller than the last one, Jay. Oh, I don't know. Look at that. Oh, that is just perfect. Look it, look. Oh, he's feisty. He's a feisty one. Oh, look. Look at that. Look at the belly on it. Look, look from the arm. <laughs> look, it goes there, look. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing. Perfect. Look at how long these are, that bless you. Cool. Look at Now, let's get him back, see if we can get a slightly bigger one. Little one, grow big, eat lots of pellets. <laughs> right, it's night time now, it's about 10 11 o'clock, and Dan's just cooked up this lovely barbecue chicken for us. Loads of different flavours, we've got wings there, and we've got drumsticks as well. So, we're gonna munch on this, hopefully, we catch some through the night. But today has finished with Dan having two fish. Uh, and I haven't caught a fish yet, but everything's looked promising for tonight. So hopefully we wake up at something like 2 a.m. for one. So yeah, I'm gonna go down and munch on this. Good morning. So I'm by Dan's rods as he's just down there playing in Jurassic World on the VR. I brought my Oculus Quest 2, whatever it's called, with me. I haven't had much luck still. Um, I, I keep on getting takes, but I think they're just liners. But Dan's also hooking into a few fish, but pulling out of them as well. There's a really tight tree to the right, uh, which is snag heaven. All our rods are back out this morning, back out with pellets, maggots, oh, I've got loads of fishy smells on there, Dan's got the float, fit, uh, float out, so we're trying everything to get these fish. We're gonna let that Dan finish up playing with, a, playing with Blue, the Velociraptor, and then we're gonna cook some, cook some lunch. So I'll show you where, uh, where I'm gonna put this bait, where I've been fishing. Just down this left hand side there, there's a, a tree that's just, the branches just overhanging. I'm just flipping it over there, it's only a rod length and a half away, but that you know, like caught me a big fish this morning, but the fish took me all the way down that side and took me all the way down there and ended up in this tree here. It snagged me again and it snapped up again. I've lost two fish in that tree there. Let's get this out. I'm going to go just a little further. Did feel it down, felt solid enough to fish on. Oh, my left rod. Oh, that was me. Well, I thought my rod was going then, but I tipped the end of it with this one. Today. Lovely fishing in the rain. Right. I'm not going to put any bait over that for a minute. I'm just going to just see if that. That one bit of meat does anything. I've got another ten and a half, so if it does, I'm sure me and Joe have chuck a rod on that. Right. 
get back to Jamie's swim. either side. Come on in. Listen to this. Oh. So we're coming into the night now. We haven't done that much filming. Well, here we go. Ah, is that it? Oh. But yeah, we didn't do much filming throughout the day because it was just not a very. a very productive day today um, and now we're out in the thunderstorm so we get to watch the lightning and the thunder and I'm just making sure everything's pegged down we put the overwrap on the bivvy make sure that we don't we don't drip through on that inside but yeah We'll get through the storm and hopefully tomorrow we get on the fish again. Isn't it, Dan? Exactly. We get on the fish tonight. Oh yeah, obviously we are back to tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna enjoy this storm guys. We'll either see you tonight or see you in the morning. Well, good morning. An uneventful night last night. Absolutely bucketed down with the storms. Me and Jamie had no fish. I had one take on a float rod, which was over by the um, left hand side there. That was on a bit of liver, so I recast that last night, still nothing. Got a bit of liver down there as well, I'm gonna change now. And my other rod, where I've been fishing, is just over there on a bottom bait. So I'm gonna get all three rods in. I'm going to put uh, bacon on that float with a squid boilie. I'm going to put bacon on that float with a, a crabber, I think, or a squid boilie. And uh, this one, I've not decided yet what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to put all three rods in the middle there, uh, a rod length away from each other, maybe in a line, and I'm going to put a load of bait over the top, and I'm just going to leave it all day. Hopefully that gets me and Jay a last catfish. But we still can have a nice fish today. I can still see a few bubbles coming up there, so there's still hope for Jamie. He's just deciding what he's gonna do now. We both look fantastic first thing in the morning. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna put two float rods out now instead of just the just the one, so let's get on with that. Two bits of bacon, massive hook. Let's get it out. That's the second rod. Boilie on the stop on the end there. That's a stop. So don't come flying off. Fluorocarbon hook link. That's just a short little dumbbell that one. And about a foot hook link. Fluorocarbon. Right, that's that last rig done. Bacon, curly bacon on there. The reason we've decided to do this is because me and Jamie fished down here years ago and we we done a day session and had a, a 75 pound catfish and a 65 pound catfish all in the day. 
um, and I cast out and it was only about three hours um, of Jamie casting out he had a, his catfish and mine was only about 15 minutes actually so I'm gonna get these out now I'll show you where the other two are I've changed my mind about putting bait in so I'm gonna just I've got one there where I've been having fish got one in the middle I've got one just down here can't see it like there you go just there so one in the margin one in the middle and if I really if any any catfish come through this channel here to the right that's the tree there look I've lost four or five catfish to now it's the tree the swim's just here if the catfish go around the back of that nothing I can do I want them to go that way 12 o'clock now a few bubbles showing a little patch of bubbles just over there Jay's chucked his left hand rod down here now he was over there his carp rod you can see all my free floats there look one two three in a nice row hopefully stopping any cats that come through Jamie's got his bottom bait rod just here we just made up a load of really smelly bait. So what we're gonna do, because we've got a few hours left, we're gonna chuck this in. Look at that. So that's lamprey, luncheon meat, and liver there. And these maggots are dead now. Most of them, so they're gonna go in as well. And that's gonna make a right stink, that is, I tell you. So just get that out over mine and Jamie's middle rod. And uh Hopefully we get a big catfish. Right, that brings us to the end of the session on Darrant Fishing Complex on Terrapin Lake. Dan had the one 20 pound cat out and I don't know if we can call the other one a catch. <laughs> but no, he had two fish out. One was the size of his arm, the other one was 20 odd pound, which he would have sent. And it was beautiful. But I've had nothing. I've been trying everything. I've tried pop-ups, I've tried uh, wafters, I've tried just boy these, I've tried pellets, I've tried literally everything, I've tried snowman rigs, I've tried different flavours, tuna, like fruity tuna, I've tried, what else have I tried? I said the pellets were halibut, I've tried squid, I've tried plum ice, I've tried beast, I've literally, <laughs> literally tried You've everything. You've gone through your tackle box, did you mate? Everything, yeah, everything that I've got in there and I've had nothing. But other people have been struggling as well and it has literally been a blank day today, no touches on any of our rods. Um, but it's been good, we've got out, we've chilled out, we've had some good food, we've seen a catfish at least. Uh, so it's on to the next one. So hit that like and subscribe button as always, hit that notification bell to know when our next video is up and visit our website. I don't think this is helping me towards catching fish. This is actually a joke that this has been left in the water. Two or three different rigs here and I've been fishing over this. It's not on. This should be this should be coming out because it was literally the line was all the way across the lake. Yeah. But yeah, we've got it out now, we'll get all this in the bin. We'll make sure it's it's safe. Yeah. I don't think you're allowed that either, are you? Shed links. Worst of the loop, isn't it?
remember if you like our content hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell don't forget to visit us at www.kingofthefish.com click here to watch another one of our videos